G'day guys. Today we're gonna talk tires. From the various online forums that I'm a part of, I reckon without a doubt, the question that I see pop up the most is what are the best tires or what are the tires that people recommend. Without fail, every single time this question is posted, you'll have hundreds of different opinions with most of them being different. I believe that an individual's preference on tires comes down to years of driving experience, driving conditions and trial and error with various types of tire manufacturers. I'll be talking about choosing the right tire for your needs along with a whole heap of other information that I think is relevant to this topic. I've been driving 4x4s for more than 20 years. On road, off road, towing trailers and for work. In saying that, I'm definitely not a professional, so please take my opinion with a grain of salt. My personal tire of choice is the Cooper STT Pro. This tire for us has been a long lasting, super reliable tire. The Cooper STT Pro has taken us throughout many countries across all types of terrain without failure. Maybe you guys remember in 2019, we swapped out our Cooper STT Pros for a set of Toyo Open Country MTs in Bishkek, Kyrgyzstan. The only reason we swapped tires was that we needed to downgrade our size and the Cooper STT Pros were not available in this region at short notice. I made the mistake of going too big on tire sizing on the rebuild of bear number two. This required us to install spacers. These spacers caused all kinds of problems for us on our heavy vehicle. After removing these spacers, the 28575 tires were rubbing on the inside at the rear on the upper coil spring housing. This was only happening on large cross axle flex, but it was enough to be causing an issue. The Toyo Open Country MTs performed okay, but I was very disappointed in the tread wear after only 20,000 kilometers, and they also had a lot of damage in comparison to the Coopers of the same kilometers. We are pretty excited to be here in Taiwan. Cooper Tires Taiwan have been super generous in sorting us out with a new set of Cooper STT Pros. As soon as we collect Grizzly and Bear, hopefully tomorrow, we will be installing the new set of Coopers 26575, the same size that we ran on Bear number one. This tire size has worked very well for us over the years on our setup. Choosing the right set of tires to suit your specific requirements can be a daunting task. For me, I reckon the best way to get started is to first consider in what conditions you'll be driving. In this video, I'll be talking about our own personal requirements and how I ended up choosing the Coopers for our journey around the world. Mud terrain versus all terrain. The STT Pro are a slightly more aggressive tire that I guess would fall into the mud terrain category. Could we be doing what we're doing on all terrain tires? Of course we could, yes, but I choose not to. In my opinion, the Cooper STT Pros are far superior off-road than all terrain tires. Even if we do only spend a small percentage of our journey actually off-road, to me, it's still worth it. I'll happily deal with a tire that's maybe a little bit less fuel efficient, slightly noisier for off-road reliability. My final decision on the Cooper STT Pros came after weeks of online research. I read so many reviews and watched heaps of YouTube videos before finally making up my mind. Tire sizing. If you followed us for a while, you'll know, and like I mentioned earlier, I made the mistake of thinking a massive, well not massive, but bigger tire size would be better for us. I'm not gonna lie, maybe there was a little bit of vanity involved as well. I thought the massive tires looked pretty cool on bear. That did not work out quite so well, so we are back on the 26575 75s. I found this tire size to be just perfect for our setup. The diameter is close enough to standard that the speedometer is not affected. The 265mm width gives us a nice stance without being too wide. 
When it comes to choosing your tyres, another good thing to do is to ask the experts. Take a trip down to your local tyre dealer after doing your own research and ask their opinion. Your vehicle's weight is also a major factor when choosing your tyres. Our setup is close to the max limit, 3,500 kilograms. We need tyres load rated to suit. The Cooper STT Pro at 26575 are load rated E, which is suitable for our big heavy grizzly and bear. All right, so you've finally made your decision. Your new tires are fitted and you're off on that road trip or overland journey. So let's talk about maintenance. Maybe you're thinking tires don't need maintenance. Of course they do, and regularly. If you wanna get the best performance and lifespan out of that new expensive set of tires. I've seen many times people posting pictures online of nearly new tires with big chunks ripped out of the rubber. They'll then go on to complain about the poor quality of their near brand new tire, only to later learn that they've been flying around on trails full of sharp rocks and tree roots without even deflating their tires. Don't get lazy when it comes to tire pressure adjustment. I'll often change the pressure on my tires half a dozen times a day as road conditions change. Driving off-road with your tires fully inflated can cause damage to your tires, get you stuck and also cause damage to the trail itself. On the other hand, driving on tarmac with under-inflated tires can cause unnecessary wear and deformation to the tire. A reliable air compressor and air pressure gauge should be standard on any off-road or overland vehicle. If you do get a little bit impatient letting the air out of your tires, get yourself a set of tire deflators. I've got a set of Storm tire deflators with two of them set for soft sand at about 16 psi and two of them preset for gravel or unsealed roads at about 26 psi. Inspect and clean your tires regularly. I have a dedicated tool that lives on my dashboard to remove rocks stuck in the tire tread. I do this every single time we stop when driving trails. Cleaning the tires is also a great time to inspect them. You might just find a potential problem early enough that it doesn't become a bigger problem later on. Locating some damage or even a nail in a tire gives you the opportunity to repair it yourself or get it repaired before you actually get a flat. I am a firm believer in the importance of regular tire rotation. We try to rotate our tires every seven or 8,000 kilometers, including the spare tire. By including the spare tire in the rotation, you wear all the tires evenly. You don't end up with one spare tire that's brand new and a different size to all the rest when it's time to use it. Also comes in handy if you do choose to change tire types, you don't have one brand new tire of an odd type to try and sell or get rid of. I take the spare tire to the front passenger side, that tire goes to the rear passenger side and so on. I do this all the way around clockwise if looking at the vehicle from above. The front driver's side tire ends up as the new spare tire. It also helps to significantly prolong the overall lifespan of your tires. When buying tires, please be aware of the difference between rotational tires and symmetrical pattern tires. Some tires are designed to only rotate one direction. This is usually marked on the tire itself in the form of an arrow. Rotational tires cannot be rotated into all positions on the vehicle without the tire being removed from the rim and swapped around. Another thing I highly recommend is to gauge your tire's tread depth from new. You can do this using an actual tire tread gauge or even a ruler. Check the tread depth every couple of months and you'll have an idea how quickly your tires are wearing. Just briefly on one spare tire or two spare tires, we will only ever carry one spare tire on this journey. I'd only consider carrying two spare tires to travel to the most remote regions in Outback Australia. Even then, I'd probably only carry the rubber and not the rim. Learn how to break the bead on your tire against the rim and to pull it off the rim. Also learn how to install on the new rim and to reseal it. It's definitely a useful skill to have. Rims or wheels. We run 16 inch racer alloy rims. 
I'm not going to get into the whole steel versus alloy rims debate. The rims we've got are extremely strong, rated for our weight and super lightweight. In saying that, bead-locked rims are definitely something I would consider trying at some stage in the future. Seasonal tyres. If you've ever spent time or you live in an area that experiences extreme winter, then you'll know that every year the locals swap their tyres out to dedicated winter tyres. I've put the Coopers to the test in snow many times and I highly rate the performance. There's a big difference between snow and ice. I definitely don't have the most experience, but I'm not aware of any tyre that's not a dedicated winter tyre that performs well on actual ice. Know your tyre's safety rating. All of this information will be stamped on the tyre itself. This information will give you the maximum safe pressure ratings, load ratings, etc. Running your tyres at the manufacturer's recommended Pressure settings for road use can also lead to slightly better fuel efficiency. It will definitely also lead to better handling. So I've covered a whole heap of information here in this video today. I'm certain I've missed a lot as well. I have given you an honest opinion on my favorite tire for an international overland journey. Is the Cooper STT Pro suited for what you want? I've got no idea. I don't know your vehicle, its weight, your plans, your driving style. Driving style being of the utmost importance. If you treat them poorly or drive like a maniac, then don't be surprised if you get regular damage and flat tires. When driving challenging trails, I drive slowly, very slowly. I visualize exactly where my tire track will pass. I inspect every inch of the trail in front of me constantly. Driving slowly and carefully gives you the time to react to that sharp rock or tree root that might damage your tire. You'll have the time to drive around it or maybe stop and remove it from your path. Many years ago, we traveled extensively in the Kimberley region of Western Australia. We did the Gibb River Road, the Mitchell Falls Road, the Columbaroo Road, the Point Warranda Road, and we also did a remote trail out to the Drysdale River. All notorious trails in Outback Australia. Not because they are technically challenging trails, but because of the severe corrugations and remoteness. It never ceased to amaze me the speeds at which some people would drive on these loose gravel, corrugated, dangerous roads. What's the rush? Slow down, enjoy the drive and preserve your vehicle. To wrap this up, I want to reiterate again, I do not believe there is any one answer to what's the best tire. You'll find tires you like, you'll find tires you hate until you finally find that tire that's perfect for you. Do your research, drive responsibly, inspect regularly, and most importantly, have fun. Thank you very much for checking out today's video. Please give us a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Take care and see you next time.